<laughs> oh, and, that is right. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got a special guest. Who is it, Bruno? Well, I think we all know him. Well revered. Cousin Shane. Hi, Dummies! Woo! And we're doing the Epicurean, which kind of fits, because uh, this is like a, uh, a man around town, a fancy dresser. Everybody likes him, right? I think it says on here somewhere. It's yep. a lowland blend from Douglas Lang. Let's test it. Test it! All right, so here we go. First of all, the Epicurean. It's a blended Douglas Lang Lowland. Let's. Yes. What in the hell does Epicurean mean? It's fancy, and they got this little deal on here. Man. Please read it. It's like poetry. Read it out. <clears throat> like poetry? It is. It's like rhyme and reason. In the 1930s, <laughs> Glasgow City, there lived a man so stylish and witty. With a cheeky grin and a twinkling eye, his dram in hand was seldom dry. He'd tempt you with indulgent treasures, fine food and his drink, his undoubted pleasures. Exuding great knowledge and sophistication, our connoisseur deserved admiration. The life and soul of any party, he regaled those present with tales so hearty. Of wondrous banquets in foreign climes, of sumptuous foods and drinks sublime. <laughs> Around the town he gained such fame that the Epicurean soon became his nickname. Very well done. That was nice. Oh, we can even move that off. That was it. I think they owe you money for that. Even. <laughs> 46 point. Yes, 46.2%. 46.2%. Yeah, yeah, point two. You don't want to miss the two in there. Woo. It's a marriage of the finest malt whiskeys from Scotland's lowland region. Mm -hmm. Now, I had you look because uh, some of the other Douglas Langs that we've had uh, from the Rock Oyster, uh, Big Pete, Timorous Beastie, and Scallywag mentioned what distilleries they came from. Right. This one does not, one at least not on the barrel. Now, look how very pale, that pale. Is. It's almost like, uh, I don't know, water that's got copper. In it. I mean, it's mm -hmm. very, very pale. W.C. Um, Fields is who I was trying to think ah. of the other day who said that uh, he doesn't drink water because that stuff rust pipes. <laughs> <laughs> so, drink whiskey. Now, on that note, I decided I would try to at least fancy up a little bit, even if it is somewhat ridiculous. <laughs> you, look, you look a little fancy. <laughs> look a little fancy. This little bow tie thing was somehow in the pocket of this. And if I remember right, I was in some western wedding as a groomsman and this this vest was part of the garb and it, this little bow tie thing must have been part of it. So we've <coughs> affixed it to a t-shirt, not its intended affixing. So what do you get on the nose? Now bro? some people may not know Cousin Shane, he's mainly oh. made, his, Cousin Shane's first appearance was on the Glenlivet 18. Yes. Um, he's been back for a few times but it's all been bourbon well, episodes. About five or six times you've been back. Uh, Great singer. Here. Yeah. You can look in our playlist and you'll see Cousin Shane, and I think I've got him tagged in each one of the properties. I think so. Ones. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so. just amazed that you fellas have convinced your wives this long that drinking is a hobby. Business. Even. Business. Yeah. Well, business. Hobby. Yeah. If it was just hobby, we would be business. out of the house yeah. already. I am in the What midst we've of told them is <laughs> maybe 10 years from now it'll be profitable. And somehow they bought off on that. 10 years. So we have 10 years, folks. By the way, you can support us on Patreon. <laughs> we have 10 years to get profitable. You can buy coins for $10. $10 coin also serves as a topper. We got 10 years to be profitable. For your, for your Scotch Test Dummy Glen Cairn. Boom, glasses, $20. And we're currently working on t-shirts. Boom, all right, but we got 10 years. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> that is. We got 10 years to get profitable before we expire and get kicked out of the house. We end up basically roommates living down near the a center of town. In the, by the right, river. Close to like a whiskey bar. And then all we can do is sing the songs. Yeah, down we'll down by the band. And you'll Red be hanging out. Yeah, we'll be, <laughs> they'll be like, them guys used to be on the interwebs. <laughs> And then they, their wives found out it was all a bunch of baloney that they were shoveling with this 10-year, 10-year selling coins profitable. And yeah. now look where they are. 
Boom. Well, God bless you. Done. It's brilliant. That's, that's right. all I got to say. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's well, what my wife is always saying, too. I'm going to the post office. She's like, did you sell another one of your $10 coins? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> How much is spending in gas driving to the store to ship it? Now, don't be blowing holes in our profitability plan. Leave me alone, woman. Although we did talk about him only. He does all the shipping. Maybe like it's a Monday mailing. It may come to that. <clears throat> right, we've because been. we've been selling coins left and right. We have been. Yeah, and so I told him, who cares? Just put on there, all shipments go on well, Monday. Yeah. Or whatever yeah. day you want. Because I, yeah. Because he's like, I'm driving again. You know, get on. We sold another one. Boom, he's driving back. It's like he yeah. can't help it. He wants to rush that order we'll see, out. That'll go, if, if that happens, we'll put it on the website that orders only ship on Monday. Put it on there. So. All orders ship on Monday unless we're drunk. Sounds like you already get, did. Yeah. All right. Order so ship on Monday. Right. We're, we're having fun. You want to get back to the business. We yes. got to be profitable. We have to be fancy. That's right. Very fancy. The Epicurean. So we've covered the color. Wow, that was impressive. I've never heard you go so deep. Oh. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> so this is what I get said. Everyone, this, one guy said in the no, comments, sometimes you say stuff that can be taken wrong. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's not intentional. I'm with not, you. It was like the uh, the Glen Live at Nadura where we got a spotted dick pudding and no. talked about the woodiness of the uh, Nadura. And there was a few in you. I know a song about there. the spotted dick. <laughs> It's right. pretty good. It's all just verbiage, folks. It's just verbiage. That's all that is. I get this is a, a different nose. Yes. There's a lot of grassiness mm -hmm. and something else. I get a hint of maybe like a, a key lime cheesecake. Mm. Key lime, that, uh, that lime, that spicy lime. Now, what's odd also is we tried this. You've tried it. You had it out. I was over here one night. I sampled it. I did yeah. not take notes. So I'm going, this is. Is it wrong that I'm getting Noteless. impromptu? Noteless. Impromptu. What are you getting, brother? I'm getting a tequila. Really? Yeah. Okay. That the is saltiness. part of that lime. That's the lime and the salt. I'm okay. getting a tequila. Right. I agree. I agree. That yeah. is it. A grassiness yep. and a tequila. I, I think you hit on it. That's right where I was getting that lime, kind of that key lime lime, that uh, key lime cheesecake. Because they get a little sweetness, but you're right. Uh, I think that lime is kind of that same tequila-ish mm. note, which is interesting because mm. I wouldn't have called it that. Mm. I would have. But you were not wrong, sir. Look at this. You're developing. Hell, I didn't know what I was doing, you, but it did something. You be developing a palate right on the site. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> sipped mine yet. Water. Oh. Uh, maybe in a bit. I haven't taken a sip. Yeah. Good call on the tequila. I like that. That's what I said. A grassiness <clears throat> and something. And it's like a salty. Mm hmm. What? What? Uh, corn. Masa? Masa? What kind of made up, made up word is that? That's a masa? Spanish. Masa? Isn't that Spanish for corn? The masa flour. Hmm. Is it your wife Puerto Rican? <laughs> she is, but I've never heard her say, "Grill me up some masa on the cob." <laughs> <laughs> Favorite dish in our Puerto Rican house is masa on the cob. Well, I think known to use corn. Masa is the. I corn thought flour. maize. I've maize, heard of maize that's before, the, but that's more Indian. Native is American flour. Flour. Maize is Indian. Maize. Yeah, masa on the cob, baby. We got some hand-picked masa. <laughs> I like me some buttered masa. <laughs> buttered and salted liberally. You can get them at fairs. <laughs> Deep fried, apparently. <laughs> Deep fried masa, baby. <laughs> that got real butter on yeah, it? Colonel masa. You can't buy this kind of kernel anywhere else. <laughs> We're not even lit. We're just having a good time. <laughs> mm. Flavor. Um, almonds. Mm. Toasted. Citrus, sweetness. Sugar. All right. I get a uh, almost like a sugar water mm -hmm. with cream. Sugar water. Sugar. Right. A little bit of uh, almost like um, um, not quite a heavy cream, but like almost like a um, an actual cream whip, not like a cool whip, but a cream that's been whipped in and, and put on a meringue, a lem, lemon or lime meringue pie. Again, that lime is bringing through. Are you getting, you were so spot on saying, like I called it lime key lime pie, 
cheesecake, but are you are you getting anything different on your note for your taste? Mmm. It's spicy. Mm. I like that. And you say I, this is a scotch? It is. It is. It's a blended. I also get a little bit of that cereal malt grain, but it really has a wonderful vanilla-ness to it. Mm. I get a vanilla on the back end of it. Remember when I described something as almost like that Mexican vanilla? A little bit strong, powerful vanilla. Almost like the smell of it when you when you smell that vanilla when it's still in the bottle. But I get that on the taste. Hmm. Really a lot of the notes that they're pointing out we have gotten. Hmm. What do they say, brother? Um, on the nose, a barley rich, citric, floral, and herbal. Okay. Uh, on the mouth, sweet palate displays crunched sugar, burnt citrus, mixed spices, thyme, peaches, and hard candy. It's thyme. Thyme? I think so. All charmingly underpinned and enriched in the finish with more of that earlier herbal character with almonds, cut grass, Ooh, and burnt, burnt sugar. Very nice. Well done. Yeah, that's what's unique to this. It feels really light and feathery on my palate. Do you get heaviness with this at all? I was going to say right. it's, it's a blended malt scotch whiskey. Okay. So right. none of so the like grains that make it almost lighter. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, so you're, you're green. It's lighter. It feels like a yep. very light. I mean. And it's pretty dry. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a little bit of the dryness. It's not, it's not as astringent as some that get me, but it definitely clings around that, that upper lip and onto the cheek. But it's lightness. I'm not comparing it in flavor, but it reminds me of a Glen Kinchy or a Dalwini, something of that nature. So it's just got um, a very, very light and refreshing palate for me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? So we're getting the Scott scoring system of an 86 plus or minus two. Yeah, it's a little, uh, you might like it, you might not. All right. Mine's an 88 straight up, regular 88. I like it. It's a good blended deal. It's the light, refreshing side of it. This is so far away from my peated love, but it's so well done. So smooth. Almost even, I wouldn't quite say delicate, but what it really brings in that nose is so unique with that lime flavor in there and a little bit of brine even. There's a little yeah, bit of yeah. that brininess. I get yeah. salty. Saltiness. Yeah. Kind of goes with my little tie. <laughs> Epicurean. Cousin Shane, what do you rate it? Mm. <laughs> I'm surprised it's a scotch. It ain't like licking an ashtray, that's for sure. <laughs> that's true. So I, I, I like it. Um, now you've got a unique scoring system. We've heard uh, Giggly Wiggly with Mama. Giggle better, Wiggle. Giggle Wiggle. Better sorry. than playing Giggle Wiggle. Better than Mama. Better. Here's what we have been talking about. We may do it at some point in time. I don't know when. We're going to try to get like maybe what your top five would be. Cause you don't give number scores. You give like verbiage. Heart, yeah. Heartfelt it's verbiage like, scores that really do paint a picture. <laughs> well, uh, that better than sunshine on the bare bottom. No, it, it, that we're one. not here. We're not, no, there. Saying, we're not here with that. I was going to say, okay. maybe this one isn't rating. Right is that anywhere? Is giggle that. wiggle no. of mama the number one? This No. No. Sunshine Happy. on your bare bottom. Sunshine's oh. Happy naked cool. fun time. H and F D. That's that's up there. That's up there. Happy but, naked fun time. But this you is, got that uh, broken out in an acronym? This is uh, H and F D. <laughs> All I gotta do is tap in on the old, old oh. text message thing on the old smartphone there. Really? Uh, if I text Mama H N F T, she knows what's up. Wow. Mm -hmm. very, very <laughs> she tells you. Does she tell you to yeah. enjoy yourself? She yeah, tells me. Yeah. She tells me to she have fun looking like at LOL. She, <laughs> she types back, "Have fun looking in the mirror, dummy." Yeah. <laughs> no, that's funny. All right, now we'll let you. Oh, we um, lost one of our prices. I'd say cameras. this is. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you if it is, it's okay to me. Yeah, I like it. It, it surprised me that you told me that it was a scotch. Hmm. And like I said, uh, I'm a more of a bourbon guy. Mm -hmm. So I'd do this. I'd do this. Okay, so you're ready. If I was feeling fancy, I'd do this. I would do this. Is it worth it? 
You got $51 marked on the bottle. <laughs> I've been writing the price right on there so that we don't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give that one small enough? <laughs> I thought you were laughing about the price. No, yeah, well, I, caught I, you it wrong. caught me wrong. Anyway. Gotcha. Yeah, 51. 51. I've been writing it right on here so we, he, we get he, it. Bart is no. I've missed on occasion. So I've started, I've started with what I call the Sharpie maneuver, which is just write it on there before I throw it on the shelf so I don't. You can, put, you can put Cousin Jane's scoring system on the HNFT. Right yeah, there. right there. <laughs> um, yes. I mean, a scotch at fifty-one ninety-nine. Is that what I got on there? Fifty-one even. Uh, so $50.99. Heck yeah, this is worth it. It's uh, a Lowland. One thing I'm liking about Douglas Lang's uh, blended series is that you get these blended malts from the particular regions. So you can go get you the Isla one with the big peat. You can get you a Lowland one with the Epicurean. I can't remember all the other names. Scallywag is Scallywag uh, Highland, is... right? Is that the no, Highland? It's no, it's Spaceside. That's the Spaceside. Um, and then the one I can never remember is the Highland. It's got the interesting... That's thing Timorous Beastie. Yes, Timorous Beastie. So what I really love is that you actually can get a feel for a region, albeit it's... Well, now let me point out though, Bart, what was funny was we shot... Those four episodes, we mm -hmm. did the Big Pete, we did Timorous Beastie, Rock Oyster, and Scallywag. Now, I know where you're going here because you and like then, to make fun of me whenever yeah. you possibly can. And then, People like, have been calling out, why do you make weeks, fun of the big guy? Two weeks later, Bart calls me right. and he's talking about the Whiskey Advocate. And he goes, do you know the Douglas Langs are like region based? Like some of it's just a Highland blend. And one of them's a space side blend. And I go, yeah, uh, we talked about that in the reviews that we shot. All I'll say was it was near the end of a long day of filming. <laughs> I'm like, Sometimes yeah, the last two episodes that we film <laughs> may not make it into the memory vault as well as the first. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But the Whiskey Advocate had a great breakout on the Douglas Lang and what they were offering. And uh, the way they spelled it out definitely stuck in the memory. Well, back to is it worth it? I'm going to pass on this one. Hmm. Um, it, it, I think it's good. It's not bad. It doesn't please my palate like the others do. This would be my least favorite hmm. of the five Douglas Langs that we've done. Okay. Um, to the point that you would pass? Yeah. Yeah. You'll drop $300 on a compass box blend, but $50 is too much on Douglas Lang. Yeah. Have you dropped more but, than $300 on a... Oh, wait. Never mind. You always... $72 is the most you've ever spent. That's I right. apologize because this is more it, than a hobby. $60. <laughs> he has gotten the circus for $19.99. <laughs> I got a look. They're yeah. like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just the general. One time. One time. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good, but I'm not going to buy it. I'm passing. I'm glad you bought it. Me too. <laughs> Now, I like good tequila, but I don't like paying for good tequila. Mm. This is, if you're in the mood for a good tequila, try this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, no disrespect to the Scotch people, but try this. Now, he is a bourbon huh. fan. Wouldn't that be like in a margarita? But I do yeah, like, no, so as a bourbon fan, though, you find this appealing. I like it. Now, it's definitely not a bourbon. It's not a bourbon. But what... From from you liking bourbons more and not really doing much with scotches, what attracts you to this? Because it is uniquely different from bourbon. I keep going back to the... It's got that... It reminds me of tequila. Okay, so the lime, kind of that citrus flavor. Saltiness. This does the not... Saltiness. This, yes, this okay. does not remind me of a scotch in any way, shape, so or form. So when you think of scotch a lot of times, Caramel, you do think, okay, vanilla, and the peat and the smokies and the ones that are choking you or whatever. The ones you try to kill me with, yeah. <laughs> right, right. My favorites, you're not a fan of. <laughs> not yet. Okay, not no. yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'll That's bet good, you. though. That's good information. Oh, now, Cousin Shane comes on and generally sings. We don't have a song slated or anything for this time. We're right. talking fancy people. In the Epicurean, right? I'll bet you cousin Shane probably doesn't know any Shakespeare. Oh, you know no Shakespeare. I love probably, Shakespeare is the best ever. Shakespeare. There's a lot that that man talked about way back in the day, 400 years ago or more. Right. And it applies right now. 
You're really? gonna sit here and tell, look at me in the eyes. <laughs> Cousin Shane knows Hamlet. I thought it was I. I know. Look me in the well, eyes. I got Macbeth. I got Hamlet. No. I got Henry V. What do you want to know? Let's hear it. What do you want to hear? Hamlet. Let's hear some Hamlet. 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 The well, hardest of the hard. Let's hear redneck Hamlet. <laughs> that redneck old so, Hamlet. Hamlet's soliloquy about should we be here or not is one of the most profound pieces of literature on the planet. I don't believe you. <clears throat> the old to be or not to be. You want to hear it? Okay, no, I know that part. I do, sir. I do. All right. Now, y'all out there, you ain't going to believe this, <laughs> but I ain't reading it off nothing. I'll even put my hat over my eye. <laughs> All right. I won't be able to hear well, you. Be able to hear you All right, well, well, trust me, they don't believe you can read. You're telling me you read. got something memorized. They don't think you Hamlet. can read. To be or not to be, <laughs> that is the question. Question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against the sea of sorrows and by opposing in them. To die, to sleep, no more. Hmm. And by sleep, to say we in the heartache and the thousand natural shocks which the flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream. Aye, <laughs> there's the rub that makes calamity of so long of life. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. And oh hell, that ain't in there. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? I think I was The oppressor's that. wrong. <laughs> the proud man's contumely. The pangs of despise of love. The law's delay. Or the spurns of patient merit of the unworthy takes. When he himself might his quietest make with a bear bodkin. Hmm? Who bear would what? fartles bear? That ain't a naughty word. Oh, Fartle means a, a low life person. One of people that just has to grunt and sweat under a weary life. You are talking to me. But that the dread of something <laughs> after death. The undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will and makes cowards of us all. Star Trek, undiscovered country. Shakespeare was before Star Trek. <laughs> no, shoot. <laughs> and thus the hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with the pale cast of thought. And enterprises of great pith and moment with this regard. That means little. No. Pith? I mean meaning, substance. Oh, dang it. Reach out there. With this regard, oh, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Now that ain't all of it, but that's most of it. Wow, that was impressive. And, I, and with us doing interplay. Exactly. The interplay really showed that's the expertise you and that you, well, yeah, it had to be. He's trying to mess me some, up. No, no, I figured if we did interplay, not only does it display that you can roll with it, Mm -hmm. but that you're not reading it off anywhere. Yeah. And when I heard pith, I thought, well, like pithy, which is short, sweet, to the point. But I don't know. Mm -mm. That was impressive. I and I love Shakespeare. Right, well, that, that One of my favorite nice. people in the whole, well, he ain't here no more, but. No, but, he was people. Well, well I, agree I would like to drink some of this <laughs> with Shakespeare. I will give you a funny story. We could story. be fancy together. When I first got married to the Puerto Rican, <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, she yes. don't. You know, she knows. No, she believes she's Puerto Rican. She knows. When I first married the Puerto Rican, I can call her that. All right, she is Puerto Rican. Okay. Uh, we did not have kids, and I I like Shakespeare, and I wanted to, so I bought a compendium of Shakespeare, mm -hmm. and I said at night, how about we read through some of these, and we started off with Taming of the Shrew, which uh -huh. is short, sweet, yeah. nice, easy story, and it was wonderful, and then I do believe we transitioned to Hamlet. Pretty had, dark. Had to pick up some cliff notes to even help understand what in the heck was going on at certain parts because I started to get lost. But then, or should I say hence, she began to fall asleep at about five minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a long time to read Hamlet at five minute sections yeah. is all I'm telling you. Yes, it does. And we slowly drifted away, children came, and I, every once in a while I said, we should bring out the book. And she's like, hmm. <laughs> What I would love to do is get you recorded and be like, how about some of some redneck Hamlet? <laughs> hey, what you need to do is break out a sonnet on her. Ooh. One of his best ones is, and I got a lot of play out of this one, folks. Let's hear it. Shall I compare thee, I can't look at you when I'm saying it. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. And summer's lease has all too short a date. 
Sometimes too hot that eye of heaven shines, and often in its gold complexion dimmed. And every fair from fair declines, by chance, or nature's changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of the fair which thou owest. For in eternal lines to time thou growest, so long as men can breathe, or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. Coins, ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Salatia, so dummies! Scotch it, you Scotch gods! Salatia. So dummies. Well done. Yeah, about halfway through I thought, boy, I know how I'm in it. Boys, <laughs> 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 <laughs>